for it to get going. Hello everybody, welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Sorry we're a few minutes late, we had a few um, technical problems with the Wi-Fi and the speed and things like that, um, but you are joining me Juliet and Vivian today. So let us know if you're watching because we've got a lovely lovely project to show you today. Um, we are going to be showing you the gorgeous Super Duo scarf by Caroline Lloyd. Um, which I'm going to show you in a moment. I'm going to demo for you how to make it. I'm going to talk you through the pattern. I'm going to talk you through some areas where people find it a little bit tricky. I can see some of your chat coming up here now, so I'm just going to say hello. Hello, Donna, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Um, and um, yeah, before I go any further, I will just say Vivian is here and Vivian and I are together in a work bubble this week. So that's why we're sitting next to each other and we're not wearing masks and things. So just in case you're wondering, um, we're in a little work bubble today. Um, well, this week, actually. Um, so don't worry, we're all keeping safe. Um, so we're going to say how our hellos to everybody. Um, so let us know if you're watching and where you're watching from. Hi, Lorraine in Australia. Oh, goodness me. I wonder what time um, it is in Australia. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> this evening, at least. Yeah, it must be. Anyway. In fact, quite light later, would they? Think Whereabouts so. in Australia are you, Lorraine? Ooh, we'll wait. We'll wait for you to reply. Um, so this is the gorgeous Super Duo scarf, which is from a pattern or oh, 11 o'clock at night, Lorraine says there on the chat. So this is the gorgeous Super Duo scarf pattern, which is by Caroline Lloyd. Thank you so much for sharing this pattern with us all, Caroline. If you are watching, thank you. I think you might be watching. Um, so this pattern is a free download on the website. Um, and I'm going to talk you all the way through it and show you guys how to get started, how to make some of the turns. If you have already downloaded the pattern, um, and if you did that before last night, I would say go ahead and download it again because I've updated it a little bit, because a few of you guys have got in touch with us and said you were having trouble with one of the steps and understanding what the thread path was. And I have done a nice little diagram in one of the steps for you, um, which I'll talk you through a little bit later on. Um, so if you've already got a copy of this pattern, then follow the link in the description for this video, download it again, and um, then you will be able to see the updated pattern there. It's completely free. So um, let's just finish off saying our hellos. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Joanne. Hello, Eva in Sweden. So we've got Sweden, Bridget in Germany. Um, we've got Australia. We've got Romania. We've got New Jersey. Joanne's in New Jersey. Gosh, we're a really international crowd today. So um, I hope there's some people watching from the UK. Nottingham, yay! Angela in Nottingham. <laughs> That's lovely. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm going to talk you all the way through the gorgeous Super Duo Scarf Pattern by Caroline Lloyd. It's gorgeous, isn't it, Vivian? It is, yes. It's so pretty. It sort of drapes and falls. It drapes it? really nicely. It does, doesn't it? Like as if it was fabric, I think. Yes. It's absolutely stunning. And the finished scarf just weighs about 144 grams, I think. So it's not too heavy, is it? I mean, when you pick it up. No, that's not very heavy. No, it? it's not. Yeah. And it, as you see, it's got a, a beautiful... It's about four ounces. Yeah. I think it must... I don't know, actually, in old money. <laughs> I, think it's, I, think it's a, I think it's about four ounces. It's got a beautiful drape. It really kind of just feels like fabric when it's made. And it's a super duo netting technique that... Um, Caroline has um, used to make this gorgeous scarf. Um, so I am going to make myself and Vivian a little bit smaller. Vivian's going to be on the chat, so Vivian's going to type away and answer any of your questions as we go. <laughs> <laughs> In her own sort of way, yes. Um, I'm sorry, I've got, we've got an, uh, a message here from Kaylee. Kaylee's saying, um, if you wanted it to be bigger, um, would the kit make it big enough? Um, I would say that would fit everybody, wouldn't you, Jeff? I mean, I would have thought so. I would have thought so. I mean, I guess what you could do if you I wanted, could try it. I've, I've got a big neck. You could try on, yeah. Big no neck. Let's, you know, let's no make ourselves necks. bigger again, um, and then let's gotcha. and like have <laughs> they, they've tried that on and see where where you get to with that. So you might need my help, mightn't you, doing that up? I might. Oh yeah. no, wait a minute. I think you're right. There you go. I think it would fit everybody, but if it doesn't... And I do have, I mean, I, yeah, I'm one of those, you know, necklace. <laughs> if, if you 
did have trouble with it being too small. I guess you could put a few more seed beads on the back, couldn't you? Just yes, to you lengthen could extend, the extend loop. The, extend yeah. the cast from the loop. Yeah, and I think <coughs> you would have enough um, beads in the kit to be able to do that. Because we have done this as a very, very limited edition kit. So I think there's just about 10 of them in the stock um, at the moment. But um, if you've got Super Duos size 11 seed beads, you've pretty much got everything you need. Um, so um, I'm going to let me let me make ourselves a little bit smaller, show you my bead mat and then talk you through the quantities and everything that you're going to need. Hi Joseph. Um, so you are going to need super duos, you're going to need size 11 seed beads and you'll also need something to use as a clasp and I like using these here as the clasp, these um, lovely little S hooks because they just work really really well with these um, super duo scarves. Um, you're going to need a total, um, in terms of the grams, you're going to need a total of 84 grams of Super Duos. So um, we sell Super Duos in 22 gram tubes. So if you're buying them from us at Spoilt Russian Beads, you're going to need to buy four tubes. Then you'll also need 60 grams of seed beads. So sit, that would be the equivalent of three um, grams of, um, sorry, three tubes of size 11. Sorry, Viv, do you? How do I get them? Oh, okay, let me just click into the chat there for you. There we go. Viv's, Viv's going to answer your questions there. Um, so that is 84 grams of Super Duos and 60 grams of seed beads. And then you'll just need your S hook clasp. And you'll, of course, need to head over to the website and download the free pattern as well. So um, there is a link to that um, in the chat for this video. And the um, kit, the limited edition kit, which is in that beautiful night magic colourway that Viv's wearing at the moment, is scrolling across the homepage of the website. So if you click through to the website, then you can grab one of those 10 kits um, that we've got available um, at the moment. Um, so... The colours, um, Evelyn says she loves the colours. The colours that I'm going to use to demo this um, are um, is this gorgeous Polynesian Mull Cider Super Duo. And this Super Duo has got two different colours, one on either side. But I think, I'm going to try and be really clever. I think if you're really clever about how you do this, you could do this so that the scarf looks one colour from one direction and another colour from the other. Do you see what I mean, Viv? I do. That sounds cool. <laughs> that does, doesn't it? I, I think if we can do that, that'll be really cool. And then I've got these Toho's here in uh, galvanised rose gold, which I think works really nicely and then a lovely copper clasp. I'm just going to bring... It actually feels some... nice. It does, doesn't it? It's it, nice on your neck. Yeah, it's just, it just drapes. Let me just bring it into shot so you can see the stitch there. Um, so it's a super duo netting technique. And um, it just, you can see it sort of feels and moves like it's a piece of fabric. It's really, really gorgeous. So this here um, is, a, is a mini super duo scarf that I made to take the photos for the pattern that's on the free download. Um, and that's what I'm going to recreate today because obviously I'm not going to try and make the whole scarf because I think the whole scarf probably took me about seven hours of beading. So that would be a really long video and I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> um, so, um, and you're quick. <laughs> and I'm quick and I do it in seven hours, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to make a, like a tiny little mini super duo scarf that's going to give you all the techniques that you're going to need to do it. So I think I've done enough talking now. Um, so I'm going to get beading and get myself comfy. And um, where's the link from the down for the download? Um, actually, before I do go any further, let me just grab you that link and pop that into the chat there. So if you send your message, Viv, maybe you go. Okay, so I have popped a link for the free pattern. Um, into the chat for you all so you can uh, click on that and uh, download the pattern and you can see those limited edition kits as well so do you want to take that over there Viv is that going to be easier for you we've not done this before you can tell can't you <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear Lynn says she's currently beadless you've had to put them away if you've got builders in oh my get in the garden with your beads it's lovely weather <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put my specs on and get started. So, 
I have downloaded my free pattern. Um, it's got nice, easy to follow um, photos. And as I say, if you have already downloaded this free pattern, um, if you did it before last night, then download it again because I've updated it with an extra diagram that shows you um, just the thread path that, um, that some people found a little bit tricky. So hopefully that will make it even easier for you. So um, I've threaded my needle up with, I've got a size um, 10 needle and I've threaded it up with lo the longest length of thread that I'm happy working with because of course, as you can imagine, this does use quite a lot of thread. And the very first thing you need to do is just pick up a size 11 seed bead and I'm just going to add it as a stock bead there. So I'm just taking that bead down towards the end of my thread and I'm going to thread back through it there. Um, sorry, I'll just keep myself in shot back through the bead there and um, pull my thread around and there's my stop bead there and that's going to stop everything from falling off the end. And now because we're going to make this little mini super duo scarf here, um, I am just going to um, make it all a little bit smaller and we're going to start off with nine super duos across the top. This pattern has to use an odd number of super duos. So if you want to try resizing it, that's fine, but you just need to make sure that you use an odd number. An odd number will work. The other thing I thought yesterday when I was finishing off the lovely purple one that I made was I wonder if this would work with mini duos. It, it must do, mustn't it? It would work. It would be I interesting would so. to see how it would look with mini duos. Would you downsize the seed? Would you do it with mini duos and 15s? Or would you just I, do it with 15s? I think I'd do it with mini duos and 11s. I think Caroline's tried it with a few things. Yeah, I think she has. I, I think don't know even, if you've got the pictures. No, I haven't. Um, but maybe Caroline will put that any picture she's got on the um, on the Sport Rotten Beaders um, Facebook group. So um, keep an eye out there just in case Caroline does post some of those because I'm, I'm, I know that she's made quite a few of these and I expect she, I think she has experimented with yes, other ones as well. I think well. it's quite an adaptable piece. What piece of art you're working on, says Marta? Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, right, so I've added my stop bead um, and now I'm gonna pick up a super duo and I am going to try and do this so that these mould siders all sit the same way. So I'm always going to go through the pale side um, of my Super Duo first, okay? Um, and then I'm going to pick up six size 11. So that's six and another Super Duo. And I'm going to repeat that until I have got nine, until I have got nine super duos threaded on, and um, I'm going to finish off with two size elevens. So um, you're just going to have to talk amongst yourselves while I do that. Three, four, five, six, seven. Does anyone else count out loud? I don't know when you're reading me. So it would be quite easy to extend. Yeah, yeah. Because you could just add two more. Yeah. Yeah. Two more lots of six yeah. and two more super duos, and yeah. then as long as you've got your two at the end, yeah. and as you said, an odd number of super duos, the pattern will just work down, won't it? Yeah, absolutely. It just it will. So you could do. So you could make it wider that way. Definitely, you could. Yeah. But looking at the the way the clasp is put on, you could easily extend it a bit there too. You could. Yeah. So that it, of course it would be a little bit heavier if you added more beads on. Whereas if you just extended the clasp, then I guess it well, wouldn't. Become part of your exercise. <laughs> so I mean I don't know if anybody out there has already made one of those. If you have, then just then let us know because it's would be good to know if if some of you guys have already done this pattern because um, this pattern was introduced by Caroline. I think it was last year, wasn't it? Um, I think yeah. it was last year. Yeah. Hi in Australia. Yes, Australia. I don't think Australia changed their clocks until next weekend. Do they not? So I think this week Look, is, is one where the um, the gap is the smallest. <laughs> ah, well, that's still, lucky. still, it's still quite big. <laughs> <We're>, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's still night time. They still get to tomorrow before we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sonia, you've ordered the pattern and tried to download it, but it says it's unavailable. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know whether I can have a look at that. Um, I will have a look at that in a minute if you like. 
unavailable. Um, I wonder if you ordered it before, I suspect that's because if you ordered it um, before last night and you haven't downloaded it and now I've updated it, it probably, the old pattern has been taken off the website because I've added the changes to it. So I think you have to go and download it again, but it's free. So just add it to your basket and download it again and then you'll get the updated one. I think that's probably why you can't do it if you're trying to download it from an older order. What colours did you make your scarf in Evelyn? Did Evelyn make one? It says so, yeah, she says so. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to double check that I've got this right because it's not going to work if I haven't. So, um, and I'm trying to bead and talk at the same time. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got my nine super duos on. So that's for your little scarf. This is for my little mini scarf, and I'm going to finish off with two size elevens. Okay, so um, if you were doing this in the bigger size, in the the, the full size, then you would be um, threading on forty nine all the way across the top here. But um, okay, so yes, you could then so you could do fifty one or yeah, yeah. fifty three instead, yeah, and yeah. just make it longer. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I've got my last two size elevens on there. And I'm going to just thread back through that super duo. There. And those beads just wrap around the outside like so. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to pick up five more size 11s. And the ring from my clasp. So, um, followed by another super duo, and I'm going to try and do this so that they're all going in the same way. So, because I'm working in this direction now, in that way, I'm going to pick them all up from the brown side, not mm. the orange side. <laughs> See if this is going to work or not. I reckon it could be quite clever if it does. Okay, and you'll end up with that. And I'll have to remind myself of the pattern, so I'm fl flicking over the pattern as I go. Hi in Pennsylvania. Thank you. I do love this this colorway as well, Sue. This is the polychrome. It's called um, sorry, Polyna Polynesian mulled cider. This um, super duo. It's gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm going to go back through the empty hole of this super duo here. Let me just. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab the um, camera and I am going to zoom in. Um, so that you guys can see a bit more of my bead mat. So, da, 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 da. I'm going to have to zoom, zoom in, and then you guys can see a bit more, a bit more close up. There you go. Okay. Um, now you can see my bead mat a little bit closer. Um, so I'm going to go through this super duo here. So is that that ring forms part of the class? Yeah, it does. So that's where you could possibly elongated a bit. You could, so you could, I guess you could put more beads on the end here, couldn't you, and sort of do it, and put the maybe the jump ring there you instead could. of in, in instead, there. Instead yeah. of in that loop, you could extend it on here, couldn't you? Yeah, definitely, you could, yeah. Yeah, I mean, or Quite you could easily. just miss out this ring at this stage completely, make the scarf, and then use separate thread to bead a, a clasp onto the yes, end, and you then could you could have the choice about how long you made it the clasp the clasp loop after you've made the scarf so you could try it on first so there's a you, you know could use a different sort of clasp you could use a toggle piece, yeah which yeah would be longer yeah, as well yeah you could definitely some of them anyway oh hello sherry in north carolina um so what i need to do I'm now downloading the pattern so some downloads page not available hmm. okay Hang on a sec then, let me just go in, whilst, we, uh, whilst we're all together, let me just go in and just double check that is working. Um, select options, and I might need to update something in the back of the website if it's not available, and I don't want to let you down, so let's just check, see if it's letting me add that to the basket there. It's whirring away. Yeah, add it to your basket, view basket. 
Yeah, so I think he, it's probably not letting you download it if you have placed an earlier order because I've updated the pattern. So you will need to, yeah, because it's just letting me order it now. So it is letting me order it. Let me just send you a link, though, to the correct page on the website where you can download the pattern. So... And if, if after all of this it doesn't work, we'll look into it when we finish the video. But that is another link there to the downloadable pattern for you all. Um, so that's in the chat. So, um, so head over to the chat and then um, hit, hit that link and then you should be fine to download the pattern. But if it doesn't work, then I'll look into it and fix it after this video. But I think it should be. It looks like it is to, to us this end. So if you can't download it, it's probably because you placed an earlier order for it and now you're trying to download it but I've changed and updated the pattern since then so you will need to reorder because I've added a little page can't be found for downloading the pattern hmm okay well we'll, sort it, out at we'll sort it out at the end don't worry hang on in there let's do the tutorial and then we'll sort this out for you so don't worry it will be there 10 minutes after this video is finished so now I need to switch directions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch back all the way through these beads here and um, I'm going to come out. Um, where am I? Or am I? Um, da, da, da. Have to be, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, so you need to stitch back through everything one more time um, just so that you add a little bit of extra strength into that clasp loop there um, so you'd stitch all the way back through these beads but I'm not going to do that today because I'm just making this little mini scarf here um, and I want to show you how to build it. So the next thing I'm going to do is pick up another super duo um, followed by five more size 11s okay. um, and then I'm going to go through just this super duo here. I will get my fingers out of the way for you. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. <laughs> it's flying all over the place. Okay, and I'm just going to repeat that now, um, this little pattern that you can see here along the length of the piece. So it's going to be five size 11s followed by a super duo through the next super duo pick up another super duo and five size 11s I think it's going to be lovely in these colours actually. Another super duo. Move my yarn. Yeah. Move my beads to the side so I can get a bit more space so that hopefully I can stay in, in shot more. More. Let's try it again because the page not available. Don't worry, we'll sort that pattern out. It will be available at the end of this video, so hang on in there. Um, nearly at the end now. You can see why I didn't do this full size. It would have been a, would have been a very long video. So my last five there and I'm going to go back through that very first super duo that we added like so and then 
remind myself what to do next. Actually, oh, I... Wendy's just ordered the updated pattern. Oh, has she? However, yeah. So oh, we'll, well, that's good. We'll look into it. We when, will. When we Don't it. worry, you'll get you'll get the free pattern. I just went one stage too far there. I needed to add my five seed beads on, and then I want my other half of my clasp. Or you could just add another jump ring on this side, but I just like to put the clasp on it, which just work really, really well. Um, and now I'm going to go back through that very first super duo that we added there. Okay, and then um, I'm going to pick up another size 11 seed bead. <clears throat> and you just get the clasp out of the way so you guys can see what's going on. Here we go. Just going to focus the camera in there for you. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stitch all the way down through these, the, this first stock bead, through these size 11 beads, through this super duo, around the back of the super duo, and out through this hole here in this last super duo that I added. So let me do that for you. So hard when you try to bead and keep your fingers out of the way so people can see. <laughs> I can't tell you. Here we go. This I was trying to do it left-handed, so I had to switch it all around. Um, so I'm going through the stock bead, the super duo, the, the six seed beads after it, through this super duo here. And then I'm going to go around the back of this super duo and out through da, 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 this super duo here. And let me just pause for a minute, let you guys see. So this is me turning the corner here. And this is shown in the pattern. So I'm coming around the back here. And I'm exiting now right here out of this last super duo that I added. How is that for everyone? Let us know in the chat. <laughs> so now what I want to do, which this is how the pattern reduces, I'm going to pick up two size 11s and go through that next super duo there and then pick up another super duo and go through the next super duo like so and now I'm going to pick up five size 11s a super duo and five size 11s and go through this super duo here there we go size 11 and through that next super duo oh sorry no I missed out size 11s the extra size 11s <laughs> not doing very well here am I here we go now I want my five size 11 so so five size 11 super duo five size 11s through the next super duo and this is what's going to form the next row of netting there. Okay, and now I want another super duo and through the next super duo. And I'm going to lay my work. I, if I lay my work this way, I'm working away from myself. I tend to find that easier. And actually, I'm just going to flip it over because then it's all on my right if you're left-handed you're going to do it the other way so I'm working now in this direction all the time I find that a lot easier so I want to repeat that what I did there here so that's my five size 11s and I'm going to super duo my five size 11s and then through the next 
super duo. And another super duo. See it's starting to take shape already. I'm going to repeat that one more time. And, and one more super duo. There we go. So I've reached the end now, and you can see it's already beginning to reduce. But what we need to do is add the size 11s that go on the side here. Can I just grab that, Viv? I'm just going to take this over and show you the end of the piece. You can see as it, the pattern reduces, you've got each hole or each side of the uh, super duos is covered with size 11s. So that's what we need to do right here before we go any further. So I'm coming out of this super duo and I'm going to pick up two more size 11s. I'm going to go through this super duo, through this super duo, and so through this, these three super duos, back through and come out of the bottom one here, and then put my two more size 11s on the bottom. So let me do that for you. So I'm now going through all three of those super duos. See those size 11s now wrapping around the edge. I'm going to go back through just these two super duos now. And pick up two more size 11s and go through that super duo. And now we just continue beading, but this time I'm going to work in this direction. So I'm work, flipping my work over, so I'm working in this direction. Now I'm going to pick up five size 11s, a super duo, go through this super duo, and then another two, five size 11s. Picking up my super duo and go through this super duo here. And now you can see probably already that now I need another super duo. So a super duo and then five more size elevens. And then through this super duo. It's gonna look lovely, isn't it? Babe? Yeah. And you can see how it's gonna actually when you look at it from one it's side, clever, isn't it? it is clever. You look at it from this side and it will look like that, and you look at it from that side and it will look like that. I like that. I really like the colour of those. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? That I think um, it works well with the rose gold, doesn't it? The Polynesian Mulled Cider. So, getting across some of the soup. I <laughs> love the name too. Oh, can you imagine then, them all sitting in a room, <laughs> picking a name for those beads? <laughs> yeah, I wonder who, who picked that name. <laughs> Someone on, her, on her holiday in Hawaii, maybe, or looking forward to their Hawaiian holiday. I didn't even know they drank cider in Hawaii. That's Polynesia, isn't it? Is it Hawaii? Do you know, I don't know. I don't You're know. showing our ignorance now, aren't we? Yes, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that if you're apologize, in Hawaii. Apologise to any Polynesians, but I don't know. There we go. So I'm just repeating that to the end there. I want to show you a few more um, of the... Um, steps of this because I want to get to that term that people have all found a bit um, difficult to understand although I think with the new pattern you won't because it, it it will make a lot more sense with the new pattern. Cindy's finally used the word quiet. Are you? Are we able to change that or not? Ah well I can I can speak up maybe maybe because we're the two of us in the room I'm just kind of chatting away I should speak up a bit so hopefully um, that's maybe a little bit better. I can see on the audio we're, you know, in the... Oh, yes, we yeah, are, aren't we? We are. So we're in the green. We're in the green. <laughs> towards the yellow. <laughs> okay, so got to the end again. And I want to turn the corner here. So I'll just line my little beads up so I can show you guys where I want to end up. Let me get that nice and 
can get out of the way. There we go. Right, so I'm going to pick up two sides of all the way through this super duo, this super duo, through these 11s, round the here and out of this last super duo here. So let me do that for you. So two sides 11s through those two super duos, five seed beads, and through that super duo there. Let's get the camera to focus in on that. Here we go. Okay. And now I'm going to stitch through this super duo and this super duo. Like so. And I'm going to flip my work and turn it towards me again because I just find it easier to be working away from myself like so. So I flip it every time I, I turn. So now I'm going to pick up two size 11s and go through this super duo here. And another super duo. So, and now it's five elevens, super duo, five elevens, and then through this super duo. So it's getting smaller now every time. So this pattern is decreasing just like we want it to, to make that nice scarf shape there. What's everyone saying on the chat, Viv? Patricia's not been beading for a while. She thinks she might try this though. She's quite inspired. It is lovely. It's a kind of it is, it's a quite a meditative pattern to do, isn't it? It is because it, it does repeat itself, and it's the kind of thing I think you could have on your bead mat and come back to because once you've got it, you can you know just yeah, enjoy. You're not going to get lost in the. You're pattern, not. You're you? not. No. Yeah. No. Um, I think that's what's lovely about it. Um, so you don't have to do it all in one sitting. <laughs> yes, Marta, it's true. There's very very little thread going to show anywhere. So, yeah, which makes your thread choice easier. Yeah, yeah. I you mean, you haven't I'm got doing... to match colours like no. you, you know, with um, no, yeah, S no. D or with K O. No, and I, I think this pattern so, works really well with Fireline actually because it's just nice and nice and and strong. I mean, if you're going to be wearing it, you know, as a scarf, you want to make sure it's really nice and strong, don't you? Yes. Yeah. So. Yes, Fireline's usually my. Got to the end Six now. Mine should go just to. Let you guys see how that's building. <laughs> Pretty nice colours, isn't it? So <laughs> apart from the, the first row, which was six seed beads, wasn't it? Yeah, the all other the rest was five. five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's the first row is six seed oh, beads and everything five. else is just fives. Five seed beads. So what I want to do now is add my covering seed beads on the end here. So I'm going to pick up two size elevens and go through here all the way out round and through here and add my two size elevens there and I'm going to go to the other end and I just want to show you then I think I'll be able to show you then how to make that turn that people um, have asked questions about in the past so um, that's the bit I really wanted to get to but you can see how this is now decreasing and creating that lovely scarf shape um, that um, Caroline designed. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kaylee, Fireline, uh, Wildfire, sorry, should be just yeah, as good. should be just as good, yeah. yeah. You're right, Christine, I was just thinking the same. It is a very clever pattern, I think Caroline's done yeah, a brilliant it, job on it. I think she has, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's mm. gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen anyone net with super duos like this before. I mean, it is netting, isn't it? Really? And the way she's covered the ends with the seed beads. Yeah. I think is yeah. very neat. It is. So... I'm going to pick up my, I'm just going to grab some more beads across here, five size 11s and a super <laughs> duo. And another super duo and five size 11s. There we go. So once you know what you're doing, 
Yes, Katie, the video will be on Facebook because it'll be on our YouTube channel as well. Yeah, and on our website too. And so on the website, so it won't disappear. It's not going to disappear. You can watch it again and again. So you, if you get stuck, if you download the pack and you get stuck, you can come back to this video at any time. It will, it will stay there forevermore. So. I've been wondering, and I can't think at the moment, but I, I'm, I know everyone is so creative that they will come up with something. Like, how else you could use this pattern, other than a scarf, for this this, this kind of netting technique that, that Caroline First made. thing that springs to my head is Christmas baubles. <gasps> That's a really good idea. Yeah, you could, couldn't you? Yeah, with dangly bits. Yeah, you could <laughs> net all the way round, couldn't you? A Christmas bauble with dangly bits. <laughs> I, must keep, I, must keep, I must keep my personality in check, I think. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> okay, moving on. So, um, I think this is the turn that everybody has always has sort of always asked questions about. So, this is, let me just get the diagram up here so you guys can see. This is the turn. All right. So, coming out of here, I'm um, with this super duo. I'm going to add on my two size 11s to cover the end of that super duo. And then I'm going to, through this super duo, this super duo, these five size 11s, this super duo, round the back of this super duo, and out here. And this is the extra diagram that I have put on. Um, the um, new updated pattern that you can download um, that shows this this red line shows the direction and the thread path that you need to make this turn after step 19 in the pattern so that's the bit that everyone have always asked a question about um, and it's a little bit like it's a bit like odd count peyote isn't it feels like when you're sort of turning these corners mm, it is a little bit yeah and and I think that also that I would say like odd count peyote, it almost doesn't matter about how you do it as long as you make the turn. So if you want to follow a slightly different beat thread path, you could, you could, but you just need to be making that turn there. So I'm going to go around the back here. I'm loving these colours. You could make a cup or a choker. Yeah. If you um, had, you know, one of our three strand magnetic bar clasps oh yeah on the end and just have one pattern of four super duos you suggested the choker and the cup that's joanne and oh and donna yes yeah um that would be quite narrow it'd be a good choker though yeah the other thing i thought that this if would it gets be... much bigger i'm not sure it would need a much bigger clasp the longer it would need to be a long clasp i think it doesn't mean a bar of some sort yeah so that it didn't pull it in yeah the other thing I was thinking of is that you know somebody I think they call them do they they call them sort of um these those net those those bracelets that kind of go around your middle finger but then cover your your hand. Oh yes. You know. Yes, that would work. Yeah. So if I like this little one look. Yeah, I took that. Imagine like that kind of like that could be really very glamorous, wouldn't it? it would. Kind of medieval. It'd be gorgeous. I reckon that someone, someone, I, I think someone will do that. I would like, I'd like, I'd like to cool. see it. Mm. It would be very cool. Okay, so um, I'm just kind of merrily beading along here because I'm now just following. I'm just repeating that pattern. But you can see that as as I repeat it, it just reduces down in size and creates that lovely scarf shape there. That. I think we'd have to rename them, Marsha. I don't think we can call them slave bracelets. Yeah, I know. I don't think we can, can we? I don't think we'll have right to call now. them. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Give that some thought. Yeah. They all remind me of those medieval dresses that ladies would wear with the sleeves coming down over their hands. So um, this will be, this is like my final little point here now. Um, so I'm going to pick up my five size 11s, my super duo, go through 
for this one here. You can see it's coming down into a point now. And um, my X super duo followed by my five sides of ebony. I want to show you just the finishing off the point of this because, again, that's just, just I mean, it is exactly the same pattern, but I just think it's helpful to, to show you the, as soon as we've got this far, just to show you the little final bit here. I think it would be a shame not to. Um, so there's my two super duo, sorry, two size 11s going on the end here. And I need to make that turn so come through here and then I'm going to go through these size 11s super duo and this super duo and pop out here just like we did before. And then we'll have made a mini scarf, a little doll size scarf. Um, so I want to cover this the ends here, this super duo. So I'm going to pick up my two size elevens and go through it, and then I'm going to pick up my last super duo and go through here. Okay, and now I just need to cover the ends here. So I'm going to pick up my two size 11s, go through this super, these three super duos, round here again and back out here. Or what you can do is do the quick way, just go through this super duo. This is a little bit of a cheat, but I think it works just fine. And just hop down into the top hole that last super duo and then you can cover the ends of that with your two size 11s. I wonder if at this stage you could add a little tassel or a triangle or something into it, I don't know. Who's really liking the colourway? I really like it. It really looks kind of really luxe, doesn't it? Um, so there you go. There is my little woof, mini scarf in the Polynesian mulled cider. And Kaylee thinks it would be good for a teddy bear. A teddy bear scarf. If you look at it from this angle, it looks kind of chocolatey. And if you look at it from this angle, oh, it's all kind of, well, I don't know what colour you call that. It's sort of like a frosted goldy shade. Polynesian cider. Polynesian cider shade. <laughs> Look, I love that. I love that it changes whichever way you're looking at. So when you're wearing this one, it's going to look different, isn't it? Each way as you, um, each way that you, you wear it, each way you look at it. Um, by the way, so I this. If you want to know the beads I'm using, um, this is your um, Polynesian um, mulled cider super duos, and then Toho's in um, colour five five one, which is galvanised rose gold. It's a really pretty kind of coppery golden -y shade, um, and I like the sort of two tone effect that you get with those there. So. Um, so I think, you know, I've shown you everything you need to know. I'm going to go away and look at that pattern, make sure it's all downloading all right. Um, and we'll fix any problems that you've got. Um, and, um, well, yes, Vivian has just reminded me, come back into shop, Vivian. Hi. <laughs> Still Viv here. <laughs> One of the reasons that Vivian is here um, is because um, Viv is going to be um, doing a live video on Friday, um, which is very exciting, isn't it, Viv? <laughs> come into shop. Shut up, no one can see you. <laughs> no, we like it. <laughs> so Viv's going to be doing a live video for you all um, on Friday. And um, she's come up with a beautiful design, haven't you, Viv? I have. Um, what do we call it? Bumpy Road or something? Rocky Road. Rocky Road. <laughs> rocky Road. Because I like Rocky Road. Rocky Road. So let me show you this lovely Rocky Road pattern that Viv has done using... Um, using baroque cabochons isn't it and yes. super duos here and we do you can tell we do like our super duos here at sport rotten beads um and also using what are these ones called i think they're called rosettas rosettas aren't they and there's like a mini version with rosettas and mini duos um so let me just pop it on the beat so you can see it properly 
Um, so this is what Viv is going to be demoing um, for you all on Friday. So um, tune in on Friday and this will be a free downloadable pattern as well. We may even have some kits, I'm not sure. We might have some kits too. Um, but see, there is a limited, a very limited edition Super Duo scarf in this beautiful night um called Night Magic, isn't it? This colourway, it's called Night Magic. Um, so there's a few kits um, on the website there. Um, so um, hopefully if you want one of those, you should be able to grab one of those. Um, and I think that's everything we need to say, isn't it? I think we're I think all so. done. So <laughs> Oh, we have, somebody said something about our vaccinations. Most of us have had our vaccinations, haven't we? Yeah. Last ones. Yeah, I mean, pretty much everyone, almost, uh, yeah, I think we, I mean, we've all had, I mean, I've had mine, you had yours, yeah. haven't you, Viv? Yeah, no, we were all, most of us are vaccinated, I think, which is fantastic. So, uh, yeah, it's a really good feeling, isn't it? <laughs> um, so, thank you very, very much for joining us. Um, leave your comments um, under the video. We will try our very best to answer as many of them as we can. Um, do download the free pattern, and uh, we'll see you all um, next time. Thank you very much for um, for joining us.